One of the biggest things I want to leave behind in 2022 is the fear of being vulnerable. I have been doing a lot of introspection recently and I realized that for a really long time I had a sort of subconscious safety blanket around me. Um, I was in a relationship for many many years and I was with a person who really loved and accepted me for who I am and I feel like that helped me to be more confident in posting things on social media like you know being on YouTube with my pimples out like not really caring and just really being able to be myself and ever since I got out of that relationship I found that I've been struggling to be more vulnerable and open and honest um, because I feel like, I don't know, just a bit more vulnerable because I'm standing alone. None of it really, really makes sense, but I realize like just a big part that's been holding me back from, I don't know, posting TikToks and posting on YouTube and things like that is the fear of people looking at me and judging me and I don't know, like say I'm gonna go on a date with a guy and he looks at my YouTube and he sees what I look like without makeup and then he's like, oh, she doesn't look anything like her Instagram and da 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 da. Like all these really stupid, lame thoughts have been going through my head and I just realized like, okay, Amar, maybe this is your issue with being vulnerable and maybe now that you are single, it's, it's a kind of like strength I need to gain again, a strength in just being confident and comfortable with who I am. Yeah, I realize like also I've just been giving into these like extreme beauty standards more and more, but like none of that is me. That's just something that's been going through my head and 1000% something I'm leaving in 2022 because it doesn't serve me and I think when people are vulnerable, that's when they show their strength the most. And I want to be a strong girl and I want to be able to be vulnerable and open up and speak about these things because I think it's important to do that and yeah so that's definitely one of the first things. Second thing I'm really gonna try to leave behind in 2022, emphasis on try because I think it's pretty impossible to do this unless you're whoa 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 the Latin is crazy. Let me come a bit closer. I think this is really impossible to do unless you are a super enlightened person and have had years and years of working on yourself. But I really, really want to stop with the self-sabotaging. I realize I am a professional saboteur and um, I am the only person that's in my way and I get in my way way too much. I have this default setting that it's like, if things are going good for me, I feel like, okay, something bad's about to happen. Something bad's about to happen. I don't know what happened to my accent right there. This thing that I'm like, okay, everything's going so well. That means something bad's about to happen and I gotta brace myself. And I just think that's such a bad way of looking at life and enjoying the moment. It's like you almost can't enjoy the moment because you're ruining the moment. Um, and I don't know where that default setting stemmed from. Perhaps it's maybe I don't actually believe I deserve good things to happen to me. Maybe I'm like, like, I don't know. Maybe I don't truly believe I deserve that. So I find a way to kind of like, almost as a defense mechanism, stop myself from getting too comfortable and too happy because I think something bad's about to happen and because I always feel like everything's too good to be true. But that's just not the case at all. And I really want to learn to enjoy the moment when things are going good, enjoy like being happy, cherish it, cherish that feeling, be grateful for every second of it and accept the bad for when the bad comes because obviously without the bad, you can't appreciate the good and life is full of ups and downs. Really wanna be more mindful of 
my self-sabotaging thoughts and kind of looking at them like a little devil on the shoulder that I can just flick away when I've had enough. Um, so yeah, that I think is also another thing I'm trying to leave in 2022. And I got this lip plumper. This has nothing to do with 2022, but I love it. It is the Lip Plump by Tarte in the color White Peach. And it gives a little plumpy, plumpy lip. I'm looking at slightly oily, so I need to powder my face. But uh, yeah, other than that, I think I'm just gonna be working on the usual, the usual things like, you know, making sure I keep my health in check, because it's true, without health, you really have zero. And on that note, let's go to Paris. Jack's hands. I put that top left, I love my cardi to death. Hi Williams, no X. If you don't say it, the record, give a fuck. Yo, yo. I put some ice on my So we're in the car with Alex. Susie. <laughs> don't be too excited. We want to take this moment to ask you some questions about life, love, sex, drugs, rock. <laughs> what do you think? would be your best piece of advice for a girl growing up in today's society, i.e. these crazy beauty standards, we have social media. I think not being religious. What? Uh, She's making this so not no, okay no, 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 it's not about not being religious. Because I'm not religious, I've had to find something that I believe in and something that gives me some sense of meaning to why we're all here and purpose, etc. And I think that if you don't have a religion that gives you some kind of place to go to give you uh, a kind of uh, sanctuary from the madness and the craziness of humanity and people's toxic ways and crazy media and all of that, I think you have to find some spiritual path of your own privately mm. where you can go and retreat to a recharge place to sort of, it's a bit like we get in the shower every day and we wash ourselves. And I think you also have to do that for your spiritual body. You have to have yeah. a form of detox. So whether it's a, a meditation, whether it's like for me going and spending time with the horses. And so that's what I think for young people is important to find. And would definitely be don't take yourself and life so seriously. And and then the second thing would also be like stop comparing yourself yeah to what you see on the internet whether it be career body mm -hmm. beauty standard like for sure and i think probably like when it comes to comparing the most important like you can only compare yourself to yourself yeah. and one thing that we look forward to in the new year i think one thing i'm looking forward to is i feel like this year I've lost a lot, but I've also gained a lot. And mm. with what I've gained, I feel like I've rebloomed some connections with people in my life. And I feel like I'm really excited to like nurture them and grow them even more in the new year. Yeah. Because obviously, like I have goals and things it's like, like that, set but the this path is more you. yeah something that I'm really like looking forward to is just creating more memories with those people that I'm yeah. getting even closer to. Yeah, I think mine's kind of similar, is that this year for me has been all about growth. Yeah. And I think this next year is about applying that growth and to like all different situations and actually enjoying what comes of yeah. it. And making memories with people, putting myself out there. Oh. Yay. That was the end of our <laughs> in the car segment. Um, I hope you gained something from our really intellectual and conversations. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Exactly. Good vibes or good Get your vibes. head out of the mirror. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see you in, in Paris. Paris. You want to turn oh. it off? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Huh.
Look at the woman, man. Look at her. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl. That's my. See if we can eat it. Morning from Paris. How do you feel? We are currently on our way to um, Correct. <laughs> to have some brekkie. Correct. It is the 31st yeah. of December, officially though, last day of we 2022. We had a really long night. Yeah. We decided to push it today. Push it, use all our energy, have the most beautiful, positive day, day last day of 2022, and just get the vibes going for 2023. Honestly, I'm so happy I'm going into 2023 with you by my side. Honestly. Alex and I have been in each other's lives for a long time now. I feel like we're like two eggs. Totally, because both our hairs are so greasy and we're gonna go get a blowout a bit later. And we're also gonna do some shopping a bit later. So I'll show you guys. We can do like a little Sephora oh, yeah. haul Sephora later. Haul. That would be really fun. Yeah, we hate slow walkers. Hope everyone else is having an amazing last day of 2022. Bonsoir. Oh, Shante, your hand on my face. <laughs> I gotta tell you. Oh, <laughs> she's she's done it again. Okay. One of the most irritating things is not having a tripod and having to do some crazy stupid setup. Anyways, my camera's out of storage, so I'm using my iPhone, which I don't like because I actually don't like the way the iPhones film whatsoever. Finish my makeup. And then I'm gonna enjoy my last day in Paris. We've had the best time. Yesterday was a bit of a blur, which was January the 1st. Everyone was sort of recovering from the night before, but now, today, we're all awake. So technically this is January 1st, and we're just gonna roll with that. And uh, yeah, let's get on with the day. Are you on your way? Are you coming soon to me? I'm parking in the bay, so I'ma send an Uber to your place. Is my secret safe? Safe with just you and me. We can't leave a trace. This is my. Gals at it again. Hello. Just picked up a cheeky little Starbucks. Our hands warm. And now, oh, oh, what's our plan? Crispy. Your favorite. Dominoes. I think. We should set a, if I get this many likes, Alex starts her own vlog channel. Okay, Ooh, yeah. we like it. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, but it's not like I get a lot of likes, so let's be realistic. <laughs> How many likes? <laughs> 20. Depending on the subscribers. One like. Yeah, but one like. One and like and Alex will get, Alex will start her vlog channel. I think we should aim for, wait, you're missing the best part. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 
Bill Temo Tebo Tebo. And now who's singing? Okay, what's the like? Um, two fifty. Just like a nice comment, I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> Our official last day. For some. Paris. Full day. For some. Last full day. <laughs> And we're just enjoying the moment on this fine second of January. Is it the second? It's it the second. Um, I told you the second. I thought morning. the third. Went to the fair, it was an absolute success. Oh, <laughs> some churros. We bought some chocolates, homemade chocolates. And now we're heading home. It's been the most romantic day. We've had the best time. We were just talking, saying little moments like this, full of or what love, peace, us. and joy with good people around. For life. Nothing more you could ever no. want in that. And I don't wish Except anything for health. less. Yeah. For yeah. People. Health, good food, good laughter, peaceful oh, yeah. moments. My cheeks hurt from laughing. laughing so I didn't know that was a thing. I haven't felt that in a long time. And uh, it's going to be a good year, buddy. It really is going to be a good year. And now we're going to go home, chill. And then tonight we're going to have our last hurrah. I'm so sad to leave. Me too, but it's been brilliant. Yeah. Bitch shit on my face, I get that. Choose up, tell Jonathan to pack him. When it comes to my bitch, I'm straight active. Dirt ball in a cool smoking cat piss. Little bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up. Hey, little bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up. Hey, you know I love it when you call it dirty. Messy. Then we stopped by Keith. I had a Keith treat, which I've Kith. never had. A Keith? A Keith, not a Keith. I had a Keith treat. A Keith treat. <laughs> <A Kith. laughs> and we're gonna go get our film camera, three, our disposables developed. Three disposable cameras are developed. Full of fun pictures. Um, we're very excited to see. And basically, that's the New Year's vlog coming to an end. It's been the best time. We had the best four days. We're Alex all, and I we're are all ready to say bye to each we're other. We're ready to say goodbye. <laughs> we're all ready to have a good night's sleep. But it's been spectacular, and I yeah. wouldn't change it amazing. for the world. It's been amazing. Honestly, for how much we've rallied the last four days, we look great. Yeah, <laughs> we don't look too bad. If only people know the amount of dancing and dancing and prancing. Oh, do it cool. for the cam. <laughs> Um, so yeah guys, we really and sincerely hope you enjoyed this vlog more than anything. Alex has found I'm, I'm, a new found yeah. love for vlogging and is considering her own. I already know the more what we were gonna go down. Oh, okay, don't ruin my um no telling the more I was like, okay, so like I think like if I become a success on your vlog 
vlog, then I think like I'll do it like a monthly thing for you. I'll do should do a one month a one vlog. one video a month appearance on my <laughs> yeah. channel just to say hi and bye. Never give too yeah, much, yeah, but not, not too, too little. Much. Always I don't want keep you guys to get fed up with me. Short and sweet. No, you're always keeping them on their toes, <sighs> making them chase and work for you. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Um, Oh, <laughs> I got you, I got you. Um, and yeah, we will see you. We will see you in my next video. Oh, we should do a mesh one. Bye.